Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a cool transition. Now let me show you an example. Okay, you can notice here that we have two footage and we we move from one to another in a really cool and smooth way. In this tutorial you need to know about masking. If you don't know about masking just watch this tutorial. It will give you the idea of how to use the masking tool. Okay now let's get started. We drag our footage to the trimmer. Okay we take this one as an example. Press tab to, to import the video only. Okay that's enough and we look for the other scene okay we need to place every one of them in a different video track and we need to have some overlapped area so in this example let's make it just one second you will see here that this the, the link from here to here is one second actually this one should be here and this one should be here your second footage must be on the upper layer and now we need to mask this footage starting from outside the footage then we contain our footage inside the mask we start masking you can do it in in many ways it's up to you but if you do it the way I do it now you can get the idea then you can do it the way you want for this example we need to start the mask coming from this side then ending with this side we take two points then we take many points and somehow you can see it's in a random manner then you make sure that you can move your points freely and now we need to have some feather we set the feather tab to both give it a value of for example I think 30 is good enough and next we need to move 10 frames forward here it indicates where is your position and we need now to move those nodes randomly all of those except those two to the right end of our footage so you press and hold shift then press right click to control one node alone you move it move this one as well uh -huh. somehow it's in a random manner and before we continue you better cut at this point and at this point it, it will make your work easier then we move 10 more frames you can see here 20 and we move our nodes again and then we go to the end of our transition one second and now we need to move all of those nodes to the right end of our footage to contain all of our footage inside our mask and don't stop here because we have some feathers so part of our footage will look a bit dark in our final product so basically what we did is that we animated our mask from containing nothing from of our footage to covering all of our footage we did a mistake we need to delete this mask okay we are good now next what we do we can add some cool touches we add some effects to the first clip and make sure that you cut it at this point we apply some effects I like to apply noise and blur and let's play with the coloring. Press OK. We start our noise with the value of zero. 
I did this only to tell you of his real point of view. I will learn and let it start with our value of zero also. Let it end with zero point zero. Let this one start from zero and the saturation ends at one. Maybe we can add some brightness. Now if you want to preview the lower clip only we we disable our upper video track and we can see this one a little. Okay, if we enable it again, it's pretty cool. In this example, we our mask started from the left and 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 contained everything toward the right. We can do it in many ways. Uh, I have some of those. We can start from the middle of our clip and then cover all of our clip with within our mask as you can see here and here's another example okay You can do it starting from the corner and and going toward the other corner. And you can use this transition when your music is slow and you don't want just to fade in and out. And as you can see, it's pretty simple and it doesn't consume that much time. And as always, post what you have tried as a video response. It's Milos Control. See you next Saturday. Peace.